Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now the price of Bitcoin is forming a brand new pattern in the short term that we need to pay attention to, and I'll be talking about that in just a moment alongside Ethereum later in this video as always, so definitely stick around. First of all, just giving you a quick update on the NASDAQ 100 index on the daily timeframe. And today we are seeing a green trading day, but today's daily candle actually opened below yesterday's daily candle close. So even though we've seen some green during the trading day today in the stock market, overall, if you're looking at the candle closes, we're actually sitting close to break even. So basically when it comes to the US stock market, specifically the NASDAQ 100 index, not much has happened over the past one day. So now getting straight into the Bitcoin part of this video, this right here is the 12 hour Bitcoin charts. And once again, as I've been talking about over the past few days, we have an active bullish divergence on the 12 hour Bitcoin chart in play. And so for anyone that might be new to the channel, what this means for Bitcoin is basically we're due to see reduced bearish momentum in the shorter term, which most likely means choppy sideways price action for the next few days, at least potentially up to the next few weeks. And if Bitcoin were to repeat what happened around a month ago at this previous bullish divergence on the 12 hour Bitcoin chart, in the coming days, we would likely see the development of more defined support and resistance levels in some sort of short term price range like what we saw back here. But other than that, nothing much has changed over the past few days for this 12 hour Bitcoin chart. So if we zoom right into the shorter term, taking a look at the one hour Bitcoin chart, we can clearly see a head and shoulders pattern is forming right now in the Bitcoin price, which is technically a bearish pattern. But keep in mind, at the time of recording this video, we have not seen a confirmed break below this level of support, at least just yet. And by the way, this level of support, also known as the neckline for the head and shoulders pattern, is coming in at around 19.8k approximately. And basically, we need to see the Bitcoin price break below that level with ideally some sort of retest or spike of volume as we're breaking below that level. And we certainly need to see at least some sort of candle close, whether that's on the one hour chart or two hour charts. Considering the fact that this head and shoulders pattern is visible on both the one hour and two hour Bitcoin charts. And the larger the time frame, the more significant the candle close is. But of course, because this is not visible on the daily or the monthly chart, I obviously would not be waiting for a daily or monthly candle close to actually confirm a break below this level of support, considering this is only a smaller short term pattern. Now, if we do end up seeing a confirmed break below around 19.8k, then technically speaking, that would activate the price target for this head and shoulders pattern. And just measuring out that technical price target, that would potentially take us down towards around 18.3k, which from the point of the break to that price target would be around a 7 to 8% move to the downside if it fully plays out with confirmation. But if you take a look at that downside price target back on the 12 hour time frame, you can see that we're not talking about a massive Bitcoin crash or anything. This is only a shorter term Bitcoin movement within potentially a sideways price range of some sort according to this previous bullish divergence. And now getting straight into the Ethereum part of this video, this right here is the Ethereum to US dollar chart on the 12 hour time frame, and we still have this active bullish divergence in play which once again means reduced bearish momentum on the 12 hour chart. So moving forward over the next few days, I'd mostly be expecting choppy sideways price action as I've been talking about over the past few days. And the Ethereum to US dollar chart on the one hour time frame doesn't exactly have the same head and shoulders pattern as Bitcoin has. But keep in mind, if Bitcoin sees a pullback, we'd likely see a pullback for Ethereum as well. They usually play out similar price action. And so an important level of support to watch for Ethereum would be coming in at around $1,000 per Ethereum. And if you're looking at the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart on the weekly time frame, nothing much has happened over the past few days. Obviously, we've started another short term pullback. But as of right now, Ethereum versus Bitcoin is still sitting above this important upward trending line of support, which is coming in at around 0.049 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And apart from that, pretty much everything that I said over the past two days for Bitcoin, Ethereum and Ethereum versus Bitcoin on the larger time frames, talking about the daily, the weekly chart, that is all still valid information as of right now. Once again, the last two videos here on the channel when I'm talking about the larger timeframes. So rather than repeating that information over and over again every day, which would be wasting the subscribers time, I'll simply just continue to update on everything that is new, everything that is changing on these charts. And so if you are new to this channel, definitely go back and watch one of my last two videos here on the channel. Also, just a reminder that in only four and a half days from now, the World Series of Trading begins, which is the biggest trading competition in the world. And this year, there's a total price pool of up to 8 million US dollars. So if you want to potentially grab yourself a share in that 8 million dollar prize pool, make sure to join the Crypto World team in this competition. Because of course, if we place well as a team, then just by being a team member, you can actually grab yourself a share in that massive prize pool. 
and the more members we have in our team, the more likely we would place well in the competition. And by the way, you can find a link to all of this where you can join my team if you want to in the description down below and in the pinned comment. In fact, it'll be the first link in the description and in the pinned comment. But I want to make it clear that this is not for complete beginners out there. There is risk when it comes to trading crypto. So obviously it is important to understand the risks involved. But anyway, this was just a quick Bitcoin and Ethereum update video today because nothing much has happened over the past one day. But even though nothing much has happened over the past one day, you can find out how to maximize your profits in crypto by checking out this video popping up right here. And this video actually shows you how to keep making money in crypto even if prices are going down. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.